The digital SAT is also adaptive. So what that means, after the first half of English and after the first half of math, you get to a spot where then you, you diverge. There's only two buckets that you end up in. Generally, it's about half. It's a little more than half. If you get a, about half correct in the first module, then you'll move into the higher difficulty module. If you get half or less correct, then you move into the lower difficulty module. As of now, the scores are capped. If you go into that lower difficulty, Difficulty, you're you're not going to be able to get a score of above 600. This is fluid and the scales are constantly changing. And even like the difficulty of the test is changing from what we're hearing from like international students who have taken the, the exam. So obviously the, the pressure is on to get that that top, get into that top module. But even there, it's not like the old exam where there was a clear scale and you knew exactly how many questions you needed in each section and like to get wrong or right. They're not going to re be releasing this information. So it's going to be a little bit of a black box in terms of how you get the score. It's only going to be four general types of themes that they're testing and how you did in them for each English and math. It's kind of like you're just given a score. You're not given the test. And because these are digital, they're not going to give you the, the questions because everyone's taking different tests and they're going to be recycling a lot of these questions.